So here's the Harbor Freight portable bandsaw on the stand. Um, I've got another video on this. Um, I wanted to use this to sharpen some knives uh, as a bandsaw, um, or I'm sorry, a belt sander. So what I did is I removed the um, blade guides. Um, those normally bolt in, like one bolt's there and one bolt's on the bottom side. Um, I removed those and the little tabletop piece. And I took the blade, just here, it's a half inch wide, I took the blade and I, I had some of this Ultraflex sand cloth, 150 grit, uh, two inch wide, um, it's just basically a roll of sandpaper, uh, find it in the plumbing section. Um, but I took some of this and I just laid it, <clears throat> I tore a piece that was long enough to go all the way around. It's r roughly 45 inches. Uh, you want a few inches extra, but I laid it flat and then I just marked along the top edge that doesn't have teeth. That gives me approximate width, um, and it's pretty uniform all the way around. Um, so after that, um, I just took a little straight edge and razor blade and cut along my line. And then I had a piece that would go all the way around. Um, and then to tape the joint, what I did is I marked the length that I need. Um, and I did a, I believe it's called a scarf joint. Um, and what it is, it's just, you kind of overlap the ends. Very hard to do this with two hands, or one hand. You overlap the ends like this, and then you cut through both pieces at the angle that you want. I just eyeballed it and cut it. Um, and you'll cut through both halves, and then you've got a nice matching joint. And then after that, I took this is just the tape with the fiber strands in it, whatever, just packing tape, filament tape. And I put, just put it on the back side. Now you kind of see my marks from earlier. They didn't quite match up, but the little one there and then the longer one there. Um, but I sharpened four or five knives with this and the one that's on there. Um, this grit gets worn down pretty quick. I'm not sure what the abrasive is on these, but um, here you can kind of see the tape reflecting. Uh, but there's my joint and once you get the tape on there you want to make sure to lay it down and take the back of a screwdriver or something and really press that tape on there um, just to get it to bond really well um, and if you, if you get the piece the right length and you can tension it it's actually got decent tension um, I was trying to make it the same exact length as the blades and it was just a little too long and it, it wouldn't quite tension up enough. It, I mean, it'd push, you know, all the way back into here. Um, so what I did, I had this, just a little piece of walnut that I had cut square at some point for a different project. Um, and I just clamped that on there as a backstop. So as I was grinding, I could hold my knife at the angle I wanted, have a backstop and grind it. Um, this one it's still needs a little more work but this is a knife that I had broken the tip off of years and years ago and I just found it in my toolbox and I figured hey it'd be a good candidate. Can't get it to zoom in on it but 
um, put a point back on it. So this thing's been through hell. But it's a good way to uh, sharpen some knives if you've if you've got a portable bandsaw. Um, you can get different grits. Um, I think just a standard wet dry sandpaper, automotive style sandpaper, get all the way up to I believe 2,000 grit. So you could really get some nice edges on some knives. Um, I just did this, you know, I just used this 150 grit just as a, a trial. Uh, it was nice having it on the roll because I could get all one length. Um, if you wanted to, you know, if you couldn't find anything on a roll, you could just get the sheets that are, you know, normal paper size, like eight and a half by 11, and cut strips and tape them all together. Have a lot of joints, but you know, I didn't have an issue with any of the joints failing on either of these pieces. Um, I'm not sure how regular packing tape would hold up. Um, maybe even duct tape, I don't know. Um, but I had some of this stuff laying around, so that's what I ended up using. But it worked great. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.